In this video, we're going to talk about how to change your cross-section type on a fuselage component in VSP. So if we click under our cross-section tab, we have a type section down here. And let's go to cross-section 1 and change it, say, from an ellipse to a circle. Now notice that it averaged the height and width and just gave you a diameter. If we come to something like, say, a super ellipse, it's going to keep those parameters and then it's going to give you additional controls. So VSP is going to do its best to try and keep the section about the same as the previous selection, but it's going to make some decisions to try and make things a little bit smoother. In this case, let's go ahead and adjust, say, our M and N parameters, and now we have a super ellipse defining this section. But notice how it's still lofting smoothly if we go and change this surface to something like, let's do here. It's still lofting the surface cleanly between here. Now, you can also have a cross section. Say, let's do cross section two and do something that's maybe not very uh, clear. You can use a four series airfoil, and let's bump that back to something like 12%. So here, we've placed a NACA 12 airfoil in the middle of our fuselage. If we go back to our transparent material, you can see that here. So the way that a fuselage cross-section applies this is it puts the middle of that NACA 12 foil right in the middle of the fuselage. So your leading edge is here on the left side and your trailing edge is on the right. Now the reason it does that is because for a fuselage, cross-sections are positive as viewed from aft. So trailing edge right, leading edge left. So this is how the coordinates are displayed for this component. Notice how the component is still lofting the feature lines between each of the relevant points from cross-section to cross-section. So you can have completely dissimilar cross-section types and even come here and start trying to push this back against this other component. And it will still give you a nice clean loft in between those two sections. But if you start pushing too hard, it's going to have a hard time resolving that surface and you might have self-intersections and some issues. So you can usually even those out with skinning, but just be careful when you start doing you know, wild things like this. So you can change the type of cross-section and notice that we still have control over all of the relevant parameters for a NACA 12 down here. And you can just pick any one of these that you like. Now, something to point out here is that we don't have access to a modify tab for say this airfoil in the fuselage. And the reason for that is because we don't apply caps along the left or right sides or the top or bottom of a fuselage component. So it's not going to allow you to, say, thicken the trailing edge of this airfoil because that would, that would cause you to split the feature lines. So just be aware that there are a number of really useful and interesting things that you can do by changing cross sections on a fuselage type, like, say, use an airfoil to blend into a fuselage and make a fillet for a wing. But... Use them intelligently and be very deliberate with how you do it.